Colton's journey came to a crossroads five years ago. His best mate, Tony Tucker, was shot dead, along with two others, in a high-profile gangland hit, the Essex Range Rover murders. I don't really talk, talk to him for a couple of minutes on my own, so to say a couple of things to him, you know, miss him. Uh, I, I was going to go see Tony, and then when I heard, the, obviously, like, he had the back of his head blown away, I didn't want to really see him, you know what I mean? I mean, that's, the last thing you want to see in it is your, your best mate laying on the table, you know, with half his head missing, you know? And I just want to remember him as I remember him, the good times. It was through Tucker that Colton really got to know the two-time world boxing champion, Nigel Benn, the Dark Destroyer. His best friend has been taken out like that. Like that, no problem. And, and then you think to it, well, how long, how long did it be long before Colton gets it? It's like half of him was gone missing. Half to be joined at the hips. Colton and Tucker ran in security and became fixtures in the Ben camp. We went training up the Tenerife, they were there. And they actually done a running with me up Mount Tilly. So it was great to see them actually running with me. And um, they were there for me, not. As like, you know, a lot of people want to just wannabes, want to hang around with you so they can get you in freebie this and freebie that. They wasn't there. They paid their way. I never gave them a penny, not one penny. Up to then, life was like a big playground. Everything was like a playground. That's a, and it was an adventure, you know. Everything we did, it was for laugh or whatever, the reasons we'd, we'd done it. Uh, and it, it was, as I say, enjoyable. I, I suppose it was enjoyable. And then, but when something like this happens, for the first time in my life, it hit home where what I was actually doing and the people I was involved in and the lifestyle I was leading. See you later, son. Keep watching me back, son. See you soon. Still very hard to accept. A lot of memories. You know, and I miss his friendship a lot. Obviously, this is the price you have to pay of living in this lifestyle, you know? Tony Tucker was one of three men shot in Rettingdon in this Range Rover. They'd been lured down a farm track by someone they trusted, the fourth man in the vehicle. When they reached the end of the lane, the fourth man's accomplice was waiting in the bushes with a gun. It was a setup involving a drugs deal that led to the ultimate double cross. What I can't understand is why three men in that world would come out here into a lane. I mean, I'm from that world, and even if somebody said to me, Kate, I'll meet you up this dirt track, yeah. I'd say, <laughs> nothing. No. You'd meet him somewhere else. Well, I'd be exactly the same. You would? Yeah, just through same. paranoia, yeah, you'd think, yeah. no, nah, I'm not going up no dirt track. Yeah, no. What you don't realise, Kate, is that the, the person that brought them down here, they trusted. So, so you think that so they was actually led down yeah, here? Yeah, of course it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a hoax. Now, normally, if Tony thought that there was any danger, and he thought, hey, he would have given me a ring, I said, Carlton, come along, I'm, I'm not too happy about the situation, I need a bit of backup, you know what I mean? And, and that's how he was, to watch his back, you know? Who got it first, you know? Pat. So well, this is the way I heard it, like, the door opened, Pat was shot in the chest, Where I believe. Where was Pat sitting? He was sitting in the back with the other passenger, the one who did it. And they were probably all comfortable, must be sitting chatting, and this is how the story fits together, is the fella got out to have a piss, yeah? Gone to the bushes, and, and his associate was laying in wait, passed him the, the weapon, he's gone back. The door's already open, he's done Pat in the chest, Obviously, then he's given it to Tony in the head. Craig, by now, was paralysed. They said he was stuck to the steering wheel. And he turned around and he, he got it in the head. Within sort of like a couple of hours of, of, of it going out on the radio station, a Range Rover being found with three men shot, you know? Which was quite a big thing over here. It's quite a big hit. Uh, I was then getting the phone calls, because obviously people was, was thinking it was Tony, but they, a lot of people thought I was in the Range Rover with him at the time. And would it have been possible that you would have actually been in the Range Rover? Yeah, quite possible, yeah, yeah, yeah.